Hey, what is up guys? Bonds here. Today I'm making the beaten cave on band lab with my speakers turned off. I've had so many requests asking for this video. So I want to just thank you, thank you to all of those. I might have some of those on my screen right now. So yeah, we're just going to be making a beaten cave on band lab, except the speakers are going to be turned off. So let's just get into it. Woo. Also, just for a quick clarification, um, my speakers are turned off. I cannot hear anything, but every once in a while I'm going to throw in some audio clips for you so that you can actually hear what is inside the DAW and see if I'm doing good, see if I'm doing bad. I actually have a good feeling about this beat. I think it's actually going to be pretty fire, but we're just going to have to see. Let's get into it. Okay, so first we just got to find sounds that I recognize. Um, I know that in X Band I had this preset called um, Main Piano. I actually made it myself. You can actually just copy these little settings right here. I want to do this methodically, so I'm going to use a scale. I'm going to use Alien Minor, C Minor. <laughs> so weird hitting a note and not hearing it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change between the C chord and the F chord. Two, three, four. Yeah, okay, that sounds fine. And then if we make full chords out of these, you can make a full chord by clicking on the bass note. And then if you have the snap to scale set up, you can just skip one black stripe, play the next black stripe. Skip one black stripe, play the next black stripe. And the same thing for this one. Skip one, place one, skip one, place one. I'm also gonna copy it down an octave. And then I'm also gonna move these middle notes up an octave just to make them sound wider chords. I'm also going to move these ones up an octave. I can actually kind of hear it in my head even though I haven't really done a chord regression like this. So I'm going to select my notes, process, run cal, and then there's the humanize preset. Let's type in 65. It just makes it have a little bit of humanization to it. I remember how the silver flute sounds. So I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of follow the notes of the original chord. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and let's copy that around. I'm sort of sure this is going to sound good, but... So this note is... A D. If I play an octave D. Yeah, I, I'm I'm get, I'm losing track of how this is gonna sound. With the 808, I'm gonna copy the bass notes onto the 808 track. I'm gonna first get a good rhythm on this 808, but I have a feeling that the notes are gonna sound bad because like an F4 usually doesn't sound good. You usually don't want to go any lower than like a C or C5 or like a D5. be good. Okay, I have a good feeling about this. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the piano and I'm gonna see like what the frequency range is so that if there's like too much low end I can move it up an octave. If there's too much high end I can move it down an octave. So there's not anything really be below 100 hertz which is good. I wanna see what it looks like down an octave. I have a feeling that's going to be better because I can high pass a little bit and then see what the flute looks like. Yeah, the flute is in a good range. Except I can cl clearly tell the flute is too quiet. So this number two, two kick is the one I'm going to use because um, I'm pretty sure I remember it being chill. But as you can see, it's, it should be probably pretty chill because there isn't very much like clipping. You, it would be clipping if there was like square kind of waves, but this is more of a curvy kind of wave. It's actually a really catchy kind of kick pattern. I like that a lot. It just sounds so good. It's probably way too loud. I don't really have like a go-to hi-hat. Maybe I'll just use this default one. Yeah, it looks pretty fine. Like 
It's gonna be a really fast beat. <laughs> Maybe I overthink things when I'm doing it with my ears. <laughs> Or maybe I'm not overthinking things and it's gonna sound trash. Who knows? <laughs> so I know there's just one open hat that is absolutely king of all open hats. It's the flange open hat from Mike Zara's kit. If you haven't got Mike Zara's kit, link in the description. It's a fire kit. If you haven't used this flange open hat, you're missing out, dude. I'm gonna copy the kick pattern onto my open hat, but there's too many kicks playing. I can't have this many. Let me go. Pretty good. It's probably gonna have to be turned down way down. It's gonna be hard leveling this B, I bet. One of my favorite perks of all time Perk Philly or Pilly from the Cody Ghostbusters kit. Listen to that one. Something like that. What is that shaker? That super duper common shaker that's like a I bet you if I actually just like went through some of these recycled kits, I'll just like recognize the image of it. Oh, I wish I knew what this perk sounded like. Cause there's like a that I really like to use, but I don't know if it's this one or not. There it is. I forget what this perk is called, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> Just, I'm, just, I'm only going to play that one one. It's hard to know, like, know what I want to do next because like what is there next to do? I'm, I probably should add like a pad maybe, but I have, I'm not very familiar with certain types of pads. Let's see what the Halo one looks like because I know the Halo pad is very popular in my live streams. I move it up an octave. On this kind of beat, I would probably use a guitar. So let's add a guitar in. I, it's probably not very smart of me to add like tons of instruments, um, but I want this to be a really good beat. Oh, um, one of these ones, a harp, 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 harp nylon. That one, I, I used this one in my Juice World video. And ever since that Juice World video, I've been using this harp nylon preset over and over. Probably foolish of me to have so many notes, <laughs> especially if I can barely tell if they're in key or not. What key am I even in anymore? I'm, I'm just realizing that I have all the elements here, and in my head, it's probably sounding like a good beat, but to you guys, it's not mixed at all. So it probably sounds really, really, really garbage. Okay, I think this beat will probably be all right. I'm gonna arrange it, and then I'm gonna do some mixing somehow, and then I'll see what it sounds like. I found this little cheat sheet mixing thing that I'm gonna try to use. Um, Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. It's better than not mixing at all. So let's try this out. We're looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna turn on my speakers and let's do the grand reveal. I'm actually really excited. I have a feeling this is gonna be good.
turn my speakers on. If this sounds good, then that means that I, on my normal beats, I am totally overthinking things and I can actually speed through these things a lot faster than I normally do. This beat took about half an hour less than normal. Um, it's probably going to be quite generic. Um, I didn't do transition effects. I didn't do extra like reversing things that I might usually do, but let's just see how it sounds. I'm big. I'm most nervous about this guitar melody here because it was a little bit jank. Let's check it out. This is actually not horrible. I'm actually really liking this flute melody. This flute melody is a little loud, but it sounds fire. It's actually pretty cool. I would have added more reverb to this piano. Hey, that's another thing. I didn't add any effects to this beat, which is probably why it sounds pretty kind of boring. So I think what I would actually do is I'm gonna mix this beat up. I'm gonna make it actually perfect. And I'm gonna show you the final beat at the end of this video. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I have two videos a week, um, Sunday and Thursday. I also have one live stream every single week. Um, join me on that every single Saturday morning. I'm gonna show you the final beat right about now. So let's just get into it. Woo!